in chapter 23 of The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, the Duke and King's new play is a sellout show, and Huck and the crowd find it outrageously funny. Especially scenes where the king appears on stage totally nude, except for some wild accoutrements and body paint. However, the show is incredibly short, leaving the paying crowd feeling duped and ready to become an angry mob again. Instead, to protect their honor, they decide to tell the other townspeople who didn't see the show to come see it, so that no one will find them fools. If everyone's cheated, then there's nothing to be embarrassed about. On the third night, there's a packed house again, but this time, it's the people from the previous two nights looking for revenge with rotten fruit, vegetables, and maybe even dead cats. The Duke and Huck flee the show, making it to the King and Jim who are on the raft. They all make a run for it. Jim doesn't understand how kings can act in such a manner, but Huck says that's just the way nobility is. They're rapscallions. Huck sees no point in telling Jim the Duke and King are con artists, but he and Jim are ready to be rid of the pair once and for all. That night, Jim wails with homesickness, <laughs> lamenting being separated from his wife and children. And Huck realizes that even though Jim isn't white, he loves his family too. Jim tells Huck a story about the time he was mean to his child because he did not realize she had gone deaf and dumb from scarlet fever. Jim is still heartbroken over it. The Duke and King's play illustrates the townspeople's ugly spitefulness toward each other. They willingly play a part in cheating one another, and these same people find it funny to see a drunk man curse someone and get shot. We've already seen their glee at the prospect of a lynching, too. Their American experience is a bleak one. On the other side of things, Huck is surprised by Jim's decency and humanity. The prevalent attitude in the South was that people of color simply didn't care for their families like whites did. Slave families were broken up in an attempt to destroy their bonds. The cruel normalization of this attitude makes it all the more a breakthrough when Huck notes Jim's sensitivity and recognizes that slaves like Jim love their families and have wisdom and feelings equal to whites. The paternal side of Jim has been increasingly evident in his adventures with Huck, and it's clear that these feelings have roots in his role of being an actual father to his own distant children. 